Here is a question for you. How can you transfer liquid from one container into another without physically lifting this container off the ground and pouring it in to the first container? How can you do that? Well, you could use a pipette and literally draw out fluid out of the first one and pump it into that one. But there's also another way and it is using the concept of potential energy. What you could do is raise the height level of the second container. So let's say this is the ground level. So let's put something here. It could be a book or a table or maybe another cup. And then put the first cup or rather the second cup here. Now what you could do is you can literally siphon fluid at a higher level and pour it into the one at a lower level. So by using like a, a straw or a plastic tube, you can literally pull fluid out of the first one. Fluid is going to go up against gravity initially and then it's going to come down pouring into the first container. And that's the, the concept of a siphon. You can literally siphon fluid from one container to another with the help of gravity. In order for this to work, one container has to be higher than the other one. If they're at the same height, it's not going to work. There's not going to be any driving force. Because whenever you place an object at a high position, it has a tendency to fall under the force of gravity. So anything that is placed above ground level has potential energy, it has stored energy, the ability to fall. Here's the formula for potential energy. That is gravitational potential energy. There's different forms. You have chemical potential energy, elastic potential energy, electric potential energy, but gravitational potential energy is MGH, mass times gravitational acceleration times height. So the more water that you have at a high position, the more potential energy there will be. The second thing is how high you place it. The higher the cup, that is the second container, the higher that it's placed above ground level, the more potential energy it will have. And so it's going to be a lot easier for fluid to come down the straw or the plastic tube. Now, in order for this to work, you can't just place an empty straw between the two containers. It will only work if the straw initially contains fluid. And I'm going to show you a demonstration of that shortly. As you saw in the last clip, the green straw initially contained no fluid. And so that's why it wasn't pulling up water out of the container that was a place above the table. The table would be the ground level in that particular demonstration. But let's look at another demonstration. In that demonstration, the pink straw had water in it. As a result, it was able to pull up fluid and then bring it down. So here's one theory in terms of how it worked or why it worked. So let's say that's the first container. And let's say this is the ground level. And here is, let's put the second container here. So originally the water level was somewhere around there and we had a straw that had a shape that looked something like this. So here's one explanation in terms of why uh, this one worked. So because there was fluid already in the straw, water began to fall on the left side due to the influence of gravity. You know, objects tend to fall, that's what they do. As a result, that fallen water pulls down more water and that falls as well. 
And because water have cohesive forces, they tend to be attracted to each other. Water molecules on the left begin to pull water molecules on the right. And those molecules will pull the other molecules up against gravity. Thus, water is going to flow out from the second container into the first container until equilibrium is established. So once the level of water fell to this level, it wasn't able at that point to draw up any more water through the straw in this particular demonstration. So now let's move on to another demonstration where fluid is pulled up at a much higher level above the second container. I used the mixture of water and orange juice for this one and I realized that when you do that it's not as effective compared to if you use pure water. But nevertheless here is the demonstration. It did work so I'm gonna show to you shortly. So it really doesn't matter how high the straw can be. Well, maybe it does, but you can get it pretty high above the second container, as you saw in the last demonstration. The purpose of the red cup was to stabilize the plastic tubing, because once the water comes out of the second container, if you don't have that red cup to stabilize it, it's going to fall. So you want to have that red cup to stabilize the whole piping system. That actually happened in my first demonstration. It fell and that was a disaster. Don't want to do that again. So just want to give you the heads up in case you decide to try that demonstration. Now here's an, another final demonstration that I'm going to show as well. Now, as you saw in that last demonstration, the straw for some reason wasn't effective at removing all of the water in the second container. I'm not fully sure I understand the reason why after that, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. But nevertheless, it did work to some extent. So that's a cool experiment that you could try um, if you want to. Now, for those of you who want videos on other demonstration type projects like this one on uh, chemistry physics I'm gonna post a few links in the description section below of this video so when you get a chance feel free to take a look at that um, I do have some other videos like how to boost the voltage of a 6 volt DC battery or how to convert heat into electricity so those are some of the topics that um, I've created videos on that is similar to this type of demonstration type uh, video. So for those of you who are interested, feel free to take a look at that. And also, if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And if you're not getting my uh, latest updates on any new videos I'm posting, make sure to click on that notification bell so that when I do post a new video on one of these topics, you could receive it. So that's it for this video. That is all the information that I have to say about it. And thanks again for watching. 
And once again, don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't take that long. Just hit that red button and subscribe to this channel. So thanks again for watching.